Oliver had been to the works to be mended. Some troublesome cars tricked him, and the great western engine fell into the turntable well. Now Oliver was as good as new, but he was still worried about cars. He puffed to himself. But the cars sang songs rude and loud. Scruffy, their leader, led the chorus. Thomas, Duck, and Percy were shocked. They ordered, but they couldn't be everywhere, and everywhere they weren't, the cars began again. At last, the engines gave up. They said, said Oliver sadly. Toad, the brakeman, felt sorry for Oliver, too. Next morning, he spoke to Douglas. Sighed Douglas. Replied Douglas and puffed away. Soon, Toad was explaining his plan. But Oliver interrupted. Conceded Duck. Smiled Oliver bravely, but he felt dreadfully nervous inside. Oliver marshaled the worst cars two by two. Whispered Toad. Whispered Scruffy. The silly cars giggled. But Oliver knew what to do. There was plenty of sand on the rails and his wheels gripped splendidly. He gave a great heave. Groaned Scruffy. Yelled Duck. Wailed Scruffy. And he did. Then there was trouble. said Oliver nervously. Sir Topham had inspected Scruffy. Nowadays, Oliver only takes the cars when the other engines are busy. But they're always quick to warn each other. Scruffy has learned his lesson and says nothing at all. <laughs>